Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Guys, thank you so much for your time today and this series. It's good to see our Tillermans are back for more adventures and more keeping, you know, keeping the good old Central Park safe. When beginning, beginning with you, Lauren, when you look back at season one and how fans gravitated, what are you most proud of in that season that helped you prepare for the upcoming season? Hmm. I think, I mean, I think, we we were all proud, and I, I know I, I think I speak for all of us, and I definitely am speaking for myself, that the music came out as well as it did. You know, it was such a big swing to try to do that much music. And if we'd had even a few stinkers in there, I think, you know, we would have, it would have felt like, oh, this, no one should try to do this. Um, but because the music worked and the and when the songs come on it lifts the show and because you believe the characters feel what they're feeling when they're singing it gave us i think a lot of um hope that we um had made a good decision that this was the right story to tell and the right way to tell it and so it it, you know put some wind in our sails for season two for sure not it's not easy but it is um you know it feels worth doing Nora, for you, unlike other animated series, our characters are going to change and learn and grow and uh, the younger ones are going to navigate through young adulthood coming up this season. Is it a easier? Do you think it's more difficult or do you think it's, it's more to your liking to have characters that are going to change and evolve instead of keeping them kind of in one place in their life? I think it's always more fun to have them change and evolve. I mean, like in animation, they are always the, the same age, <laughs> you know, like they don't, they're not gonna like, we'll throw like a, a birthday in there every three seasons or whatever, but they can, but you, we still have them like change and grow. And when they've learned a lesson, you don't want them to learn that again because you're like, no, he learned that lesson back in that episode. So he's good with that. But I think it's just, fun when the you see the characters go through believable real life complex situations where they have to navigate who they are and figure out you know how they're gonna grow so I feel like it makes it easier to write because that just works well with writing as far as that drama and that tension and that conflict and and coming out the other end a different person for sure a little bit for sure Lauren, now, uh, speaking of the music, which is such an integral part of the show and what makes it particularly interesting, those big epic show numbers, and when you look at the talent that is attached to the show, it's crazy. It's Tony Award winning, multiple award winners. When you were first beginning down this road, is that always how you envisioned it? Because there's so many talented people, but then to have this core group in particular performing within your work. That's why we're here. I mean, that's, you know, that's the the, the um, treat that Josh Gad dangled in front of us. You know, he said, what about this cast? What about this cast? And we couldn't, you know, they, that just set us uh, on a path because how could, how could you not? How could you say no? So, um, yeah, if, if it was, I think, um, if we'd written the story and then went out and set out to cast it, we, I wouldn't have dared to imagine but uh, in this case, we we kind of started with the cast and, and built the show around them. Amazing. An amazing Very one lucky. at that. I thank you so much for your time. I'm glad to see you guys back for season two. It's such a fun show. I catch myself singing some of the tunes. And it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chandra. Thanks, thank Chandra. you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.